and how are you harry i'm really um, fine <laughs> good <laughs> yeah so you're from the print um printment why that name and tell us about yourself and where you guys are from uh well i'm based in paris but i was brought up in england northern huh? england, close to liverpool and the print that makes you know it sounded good <laughs> and i'm based in paris for the moment yeah okay so you're you know raised born born and raised in in england and why paris well family half of my family is here so you know i sort of traveled between england and france throughout the time throughout the years that's you, it you don't have a liverpool accent though <laughs> oh well i must have lost it on the way <laughs> <laughs> i could scatter though yeah a little oh, could you Okay, tell us more about the band and how you guys started and all that. Well, I started playing music in England and uh, I came over to France and, uh, and uh, I was uh, for a few years, uh, uh, you know, backing up bands and sorts of trying to earn my money playing music. Yeah. And I decided a few, uh, three years ago to really put the EP on. So it's a three piece band. Mm -hmm. with someone on a piano and the drums and other friends join in so it depends on the song and the people yeah. available that's what I do so it's a real three-piece band with our lead and we play um, you know pop music between funk yeah and of course we love the Beatles and Coldplay and so on okay well, I, differences. Li I listened to one of your tracks baby be good <laughs> well, that's the that's the cheeky one, the groovy It is, because I was about to give you some lyrics that I caught up with, you know, you know, the beginning. Because in Baby Be Good, I really quite liked it. It's a bit snazzy, isn't it? It yeah. says, you, you're a jewel. Um, um, you're a jewel. Did I write it right? You're a jewel um, and shining diamond. I'm blinded by the light. You're the beauty. I'm the beast. You're welcome to the feast. Absolutely, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Those are my influences with Prince, I suppose, as well, and Michael Jackson. Okay. Well, well, those are great singers, aren't they? That's a yeah, yeah. Influence, the whole planet, and I was influenced at some point there as well. Yeah. Think That's my funky side. <laughs> <laughs> What's your other side then, Harry? Uh, pop, obviously. I've written mm -hmm. a song called Fab, where I, because I was brought up there. Another called um, Heaven and uh, Love Like You. Well, wow. Love Like You, I think I've seen that one. I, I listened yeah, to that one. That's a bit stingish, isn't it? Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. I love, love Police as well. So all yeah. these bits and pieces make a puzzle, which is great. Yeah. With a brand new sound, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I can hear the folk aspect of it. I can I can hear the, the funk side of things. And I can hear, see, hear the fun side of, side of the music as well. It's quite... Bright side, I must say, yeah. Pardon? Bright side of things. I it is that. bright side and yeah. fun. It's, so, it's fun as you well. You really need it, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, you know, you said you've got influencers, right? You've, you spoke about Prince and, and other artists. But what, what, what inspires you to write, you know, those lyrics? love and life itself i mean i write with, with me own blood i mean what mm. i i don't pretend things just write things that are you know that happen to it that i can share with everyone i suppose just as simple as that i, I mean those are the, the real things that really touch everyone so yeah yeah it can be a love song but plus <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be cheap it's gonna be fun for people to that's listen it to. yeah yeah yeah, because love can be cheeky and it can be fun, can't it? <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so talking about love, Harry, are you taken? Maybe the fans are thinking, oh, is Harry taken? He, he writes great lyrics. Maybe you could write great lyrics for another lady, some a significant other out there. Or are you taken? Oh, of course. Uh, I suppose, you know, it's like life. I like sharing. So who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I'm open to things. Yeah. That's how you... You move on to good music. I mean, mm. it's all about sharing, it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And 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 tell us about your other. You know, you've you said you're a three-piece band. Um, so tell us about your your other members of your band. The piano player who writes with me is called uh, Catherine Ava or Wendy. 
she plays the piano and the key mm-hmm. for me and we we start together putting the songs and then we come up with the drummer okay and the one who plays bass is um is, is the one who, who mixes as well it's kind of, all it's right kind of really and he's a great bass player as well but okay. he's not really part of the band because he's a, a pro at you know mixing so uh, he's a good bass player as well and that's how we do it and we invite people according to the songs and what we really need at the end you know yeah it's like cooking you see (laughs) we start (laughs) a piece and put up things together to put a puzzle in and that's it sure sure how about gigs i know with the pandemic there's no gigs what have you done in the past well what are you planning really yeah when we first recorded we we were lucky enough to play at the reservoir a nice stage twice here in paris Mm -hmm. those were and the pandemic came up it's some sort of full stop, but we're really looking forward to play on stage. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And on stage, we're we're really be ready for that, you know. We really. Got keep... any, any 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 bookings, you know, for the future that your fans might want to know about? It's got. It's called Litage at, at Paris, but we don't have a, a really. Um, we don't know when. It's yeah. Be, so hopefully I... this summer or. Yeah. Have you been taking advantage of the virtual aspect of, you know, performances and, you know, so mo- most of most of the performers now have gone all virtual. Have you taken advantage of that or is there? Oh, yeah, we're, we're looking forward with... to that. But, mm. you know, it's not as good as the, the real yeah. one. Yeah. Who knows? You know, if it, <laughs> it, if it gets too long, we'd have to go throughout that. But uh, yeah. we're really looking forward to play for real. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're telling us about your EP. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned it, but can you expand a bit more? Um, you know what we what we look what your fans and, and ourselves here on the radio can look can look forward to. So um, let's go. Baby, be good. It's a song you need, you know, to listen when you want to dance, really, and really, it's yeah. the fun side of it. And um, this uh, love like you is a mid-tempo pop song, okay. right? All right. Which is, I think mm. nice as well. And um, and the other one, um, what was it? Uh, uh, which one you had listened to? Um, I think I what was it? Baby, be good. I listened to and love like you. Those are the two I listened to. Yes. And there's a third one called Fab. On all Fab. The... I think I've seen it. It's on YouTube, isn't it? Is it on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's the tribute to to the Beatles, of course. Ooh. Right. I better go what listen to that one. Yeah, and I, I bet you're going to like it because we've got l- l- loads of good feedbacks on it. From really. Fab, yeah? Yeah, it's um, a song I wrote, you know. It took me quite a time to say what kind of song I can write to yeah. say, you know, the Beatles are the biggest band ever. So, of course, you know, yes, yes, yes. I love the Beatles too. <laughs> so, so do I, so... I think those really, I think I'm rather proud that they to have a sound. I mean, with this EP, we, we sort of um, played all things we love without yeah. thinking. So it comes to, it begins with a pop and it can be slow dance. Yeah. And and this thing is, and, and of course, Fab is a, a, a Beatles song. So Beatles-ish, yeah. should I say. Beatles-ish. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, you know. Mm. I'm like everyone, you know, I, I tend to play um, and write songs, you know, that people love. I mean, yeah. the bands really influenced me, like Coldplay, I've uh, been fans of loads of... of it's, a, it's the British, really, pop tradition. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, that, okay. Yeah, you, you, I can see I can see that when I listen to your music and I can feel that, that's, you know, your influences. Um, any other hobbies, Harry? You know, any other things that you do besides music? 